Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Evan LeFevre and I'm here with one of the most important messages today and it's in response to the president's address about the war in Afghanistan. What I have to say tonight is that it is the 21st century. Do you know what that means? It means that we are all sensible and responsible enough and informed and knowledgeable enough to understand that we need to start showing 100% respect for all human life with equality for everyone in these regards, regardless of what country they live in. And I know that can be a hard for some to understand, but when it comes to this war, I mean, we have taken out Osama bin Laden okay the man responsible for 9-11 okay and if that is not enough to satiate the desires of the scorned people who lost family members in those attacks what we have to realize is that this fight between al-qaeda and the united states of america this is not a fight <clears throat> that needs to be won. We don't need to win this fight. We need to stop it. Do you understand that we need to end this fight, not win it? We need to end this war, not win it. This is the 21st century. We do not need war anymore. Wars do not need to be won. They need to be ended now. When you think about what is important, what is important is the example that we set for each and every child that grows up in this world. Not only this country, but this entire world what is the example that we as Americans set forth with our actions globally and locally? Do we really want to teach our young kids that it is all right to solve problems with violence and murder? When you declare war, on a country and you send troops in and actually have them kill people of that country do you know what that is that is murder you are solving a problem with murder the last time I checked the only legal murder <clears throat> was the death penalty and in order to receive the death penalty Someone has to be tried in a court of law. Now, what I see is a lot of murders that have taken place. And um, when, you, when someone murders someone, if they do that because they've been instructed or paid by someone else to murder someone else, that is a, hmm, what's the word to it? Accessory to murder. That's right. And... Yeah, that's murder. It doesn't matter if your skin is white, black, brown, or any shade in between. It doesn't matter if you were born in America, Afghanistan, Iran, or Canada. Okay? Do you understand that? Human beings are human beings. Murder is murder. There is no justification for murder. There is no justification to use murder as a means of solving problems. This is the 21st century. And you and I and everyone else on this planet are going to stand up together and say that murder will no longer be something that is justified by any means as a solution to solve problems because we are teaching a new generation of human beings that will inherit this planet
And it is their responsibility. And it is our responsibility to make sure that they understand. You cannot say one thing and then do another. You cannot tell the American people, do not murder. And then go out and use their tax dollars to murder innocent people. To murder people. The Iraqi people had nothing to do with 9-11. None of them. There was no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. None. Do you understand that that means all the people in Iraq that were killed by anyone were murdered? First degree murder. Do you understand that? Now, before we go murdering more people, we might want to think about the example that someone such as the President of the United States, someone that all American children should look up to, that all children around the world should look up to. And if a child sees the President of the United States saying, it is all right to solve problems with murder, that it is all right to grab a gun and shoot someone to solve a problem as opposed to sitting down and talking with them in a rational, respectful, 21st century way, then that is completely unacceptable and it needs to end now. This is not going to be tolerated in this universe anymore. There are good forces in this universe, and there is more to life than people know. And this is the year when everyone finds out. And that starts with you waking up right now and realizing that there can be true heroes in this world, and a true hero does not solve any of their problems by murdering or sending anyone else to murder anyone. If it's plain as day, it is as plain as day. Two wrongs do not make a right. A third grader knows this. If the President of the United States does not understand this and all the other people working in the government, 